record exchange and listen to me talk. Only a dollar an hour. <laughs> find the buy records, you never know what you're going to find. Today I bought a couple old records. One is a disco record from Chic, which is their classic biggest hits record, I think, which pretty much came out during my high school years, so it brings back a lot of memories. And the other one is by Carl Carlton, who did uh, She's a Bad Mamma Jam, and this is one of their series of records. And I have the others, so I figured for three bucks, why not? That's what I got today. Tell us your name loud and proud. It's Chris. Where's the best store in Silver Spring? So far, it seems to be this place, uh, Record Exchange. <laughs> All What's your name, sir? Sergio. Sergio, what record store are you at? Uh, well, the record exchange here at uh, downtown Silver Spring. What's in your bag? Uh, well, uh, I have some of the Tawana Brass band. I just heard them like two months ago and I thought they were great. You know, I really like the taste of honey. And, you know, just a dollar, what a find. I mean, a dollar well spent. Uh, this is uh, bread and butter. Uh, this is one that I saw in a movie with Mickey Bork. Bork. Uh, he, uh, I don't know, I just really like that song, Bread and Butter, and I had to get it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you know, this is, this is really cool. It's a really old song from the 50s, I think. And, uh, Eight bucks, so why not? Uh, Pink Floyd. I don't have this one in CD, so I figure that I want, I'd like to own it on LP, you know, because it's got a lot of uh, different, you know, tracks that I just never heard Pink Floyd, you know, so it's just something really. And LP's in great condition. I, I, I saw them all, so they're all in great condition. Um, and let me see here. <laughs> Muppet Show. It's one of my favorite shows was growing up. So a dollar, three dollars. Uh, you know, it's not a bad deal. I, I bought it from the, uh, you know, the <laughs> being over there where it's all that, you know, finds find great stuff for a dollar, three dollars. So definitely gonna listen to that. With my kids. So. Uh, oh. And this is probably one of that I would probably be enjoying the most. The Kennedys. Um, you know, I really like pop rock. I grew up listening to them. I'm a big Dead Kennedys fan. Uh, you know, back back then, all the weird kids uh, used to listen to that stuff. But I, I love it. So, and it's and it's like in a special edition. It's got like uh, songs that haven't hadn't been released in the in the original so really excited about this and uh, that's pretty much it everybody everything else is you know from, from my girlfriend so we have the, the platters the girlfriend uh, records all right yeah only you you know girlfriend records Gotta i like those. them but you know probably not gonna listen to them as much uh diana ross and and I don't even know who they are. <laughs> Dixie Humbers. Cool, cool name, but never heard of them. Love you like a rock. That looks cool. Yeah, so. She's got old school taste. Yeah, sure it does. Uh, and Linda Ronstadt. Oh. Uh, Gotta go with Linda. <laughs> so, that's pretty much it. Awesome. Thank yeah. you, Sergio. Hey, no problem, man. Absolutely. Gonna listen up to some new tunes. Super excited about it. Can't wait. I I think that music is so important in our daily lives. Like it's just like an, an emotional release, you know. You gotta do it. 
you, you gotta listen to some good music and share it as much as you can. If you can play an instrument and you know, cover some of the songs that you like on any instrument, it's even better. Just got a guitar a year ago, started playing my, my favorite tunes, man. Been having a blast. Play the play him along with the LP player, so so rock on. Charlie and uh, today I got Moby Play um, and I mean I don't know a lot about Moby but my parents really like him I've listened to um, I've watched his music video I've watched his music video why does my heart feel so bad and yeah I don't really know a lot about him so I'm hoping to um, learn more through this CD hell yeah what else you get uh, well, I got I got um, Fillmore tickets for Led Zeppelin, and I don't thank you so much. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Thank you. Do I have any parting words? You should come here. It's cool. Yeah, you should come here. I don't it's know. really cool. But this is my first time here. Yeah. And, yeah. Bye. Bye. records and we were on our way out and I had to see the new uh, section with the imports and so uh, we're actually gonna see the concert of the Pixies so we saw this and we had to go get it so uh, after we bought a couple we had to do that one and then this one too as well another import so these are the new two that we bought even though we're on our way out and these are gonna be our only imports in our collection so we'll be back let's have good music for many years to come. <laughs> Yo, what's happening? My name is Forrest and I'm at the Record Exchange in Silver Spring. Best record store in the area. They have graciously taken many, many dollars of mine over the years and I've been happy to fork it over. And today is not unlike those other days in the past. And I want to tell you what's in my bag. Twenty-one fifty, well spent here at the Record Exchange in Silver Spring, Maryland. And first up, to get over the hump of 20 bucks, get my stamp, I picked up Alice Cooper Trash. Now, I'm a huge Alice Cooper fan, but I'm sure I will find this record to be trash, but it was only $2 and I don't own it. And now I just have more Alice in my collection, which is never a bad thing. Next, we got some Let It Be, The Beatles. I've never owned this in my collection. The Beatles are one of those bands, sometimes you hear them so much, you just assume you got it. Well, now I do. Bring it on, Dig a Pony. One of the best. Speaking of the best, Jimi Hendrix. I don't believe I own this. If I do, I'm bringing it back and exchanging it. Because what's in the name, record exchange? But Blues, I've had this digitally before. I don't think I've owned it physically. This record is incredible. Jimi Hendrix, the one and only. We can keep on going. 2150 gets you really far down the road. Andrew, this goes out to you. In the dark, Grateful Dead. Why would I not listen to Andrew Pappas about the Grateful Dead? He tells you to get it, you get it. I got it. One more for the very large collection. And last but not least, we got The Fall. Record Exchange has put about nine of these records in my collection. And uh, Marky Smith, this stuff rules. As John Peel said, they're either the best band you've ever heard or they're the worst. I love it. Oh, I got one more thing in this bag. I got free tickets. If I can get it out of the bag to the neighbors of the Fillmore to go see Led Zeppelin too. So who's coming with me, March 24th? That's what's in my bag. What's in yours? Tell us all about it. Peace, keep on rocking. <laughs> <laughs> 